guys welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for being here i appreciate you all so much for clicking on this video and giving it a watch if you're new here i would love for you to join my youtube family and hit that subscribe button don't forget that bell button then you're notified every time i upload a new video also don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below because all of those things will definitely help my channel grow and that's what we're all here for is just to to grow and succeed and do well on youtubes today i have a smaller haul this is not going to be a very long haul at all it's just a small little collective haul i have my biggest bag is target and then i have a few things from five below just a couple things from dollar general oh and then i have to push pause and run over i have one thing from walmart right now um and then I have my Timu um, dog beds that I talked about in my Timu haul from yesterday. Um, they arrived, so I was going to just show those to you. So give me one second. I'm going to go run the one thing I missed when I was collecting all my items, and then we're going to get on with the haul. Okay, so I ran. I, it was a Walmart. I just ordered it online. I was going to go to Walmart, but then I was like, they'll deliver it to me, and I have other things to do, so I let them do that. So most of the items here are kind of my last-minute Easter basket items as i finish putting together my kids gifts um uh, because i was doing donation easter basket so my kids stuff kind of lingers i pick stuff up too but you know um i picked up these flip-flops these ones are for eric they were five dollars and 48 cents i did find flip-flops for braxton on timu that are going to go in his easter basket i just like to do a new pair of flip-flops and like kind of some start of summer clothes for easter it's kind of been something i've always done even though easter is so early this year but um none of them have really flip-flops they all kind of get trashed from last year or their feet grow or all the things so these were walmart they have a cute little dinosaur some palm trees he's wearing a floaty uh they were just cute ones and eric does like to wear flip-flops so um yeah that's that's what i have from walmart because I wanted to give them all some new shoes. If you watched my Timu haul from yesterday, they also all got like either slides or croc style, clog style shoes, but I got off brands because they're not gonna wear them all summer. If they decide that they really love a specific type of shoe, like if they love their off brand crocs, I don't mind them buying them real brand crocs, but I don't like to spend the money on real brand crocs if they're gonna wear them like two or three times. So it's kind of my test when I buy the off brand stuff. All right, so um, Target is where I'm going next. I have a bag of stuff. So this is just kind of fun. So this is a batch of trophies. You get six of them. It was $5 for the six. I actually didn't pay any attention. So this was in the Easter section, but they even gave you little tags. So like if you're doing any kind of um, competition, so it's extra special most creative egg prettiest egg funniest egg extra door ex extraordinary ugliest egg explosive and best egg and then blank ones so that is their purpose for them the reason i pick them up though is if you've been here you know i do easter not easter i do easter baskets i do gift baskets a lot and i have now on multiple occasions wanted to put a trophy in them and they're so hard to find just a cute little trophy um, one was because my sister-in-law enlisted me to do a Easter basket as a gift or as a winning prize, as a prize for a chili cook-off. And I thought, how fun would it be to put a trophy in there that says, like, best chili? And I just used my Cricut to, like, you know, put the, the stuff on there. And so I just wanted these to be on hand for when I get asked to do a prize basket and you want to put a trophy in there because I just think that that's a fun little addition if it's for a prize. And I love doing gift baskets. I like doing Easter baskets. I love doing baskets. If you've been here, you know that about me. All right, so on to some Easter stuff and then probably some not Easter stuff in the bottom. Um, I did pick up the plates. I'm doing Easter brunch at my house. And so it's just gonna be my brother-in-laws and their families possibly my grandparents um, my parents were invited but they um ended up not being able to come because of some other commitments so just a few people coming over my nieces and nephews so this is a 10 count of plates which should be enough ish let's see two four six seven adults and five kids so We'll make it work because I have the smaller plates too. But this one just says happy spring with the three little bunnies on it. So this is where the, the hungry hungry guy gets the nice big plate. And then like if I know most of my children, at least my two, 
these are a little bit smaller of a plate and you get 20 of them in here so this will work so this is a 10 by 12 it was three dollars for the 10 they're from the spritz brand in target and it was in their easter section and then this one is three dollars this one they call the dinner plate and this one they just call the oval plate so both great options for plates for a brunch we're just going to do some like breakfasty type foods uh, maybe a charcuterie tray deviled eggs of course um, you know just all the brunch goodies that you would do on Easter and then I got these napkins I think they're super duper cute it was three dollars and you get 30 of them and they're just so cute and springy and even after Easter um, decorating for me is always like this like the transition from Easter to summer I never know exactly what to do but I think I'm going to do more of a spring decor because Easter's so early this year and take out like the Easter Easter stuff and then um, just keep it like flowers and just, you know, springy things because what else am I going to do in April? All right. I picked these up. I was so excited. They're only a dollar. And I was kind of thinking because I'll do coffee and stuff for um, my Easter brunch. But anytime like you're doing anything that like includes like like a mimosa bar would be awesome with these and you do different juices in them. Um, I don't do that ever, but that would be a great reason to have these. Um, they were a dollar each. They hold 16 fluid ounces, food safe, but not microwavable or dishwasher safe, hand wash only with a non-abrasive sponge. They were in the Bullseye's Playground section, and these were the only two that I've come across since they've been out. There was a third, but it was chipped in the corner right here, and so I left that one behind. I picked up the two good ones. Because I think like if you do that like for a mimosa bar with like orange juice, cranberry juice, and whatever else you would do in a mimosa. Oh, that would be so cute. But again, it's not like something I, I don't drink mimosas all that often. And then I did pick this up. It's the cute little like measuring cup. And I picked up, up in pink. And this one was $3. It says one count glass milk pourer. Um, love it. I think it's super cute. It uh, goes up to two cups. I mean, I don't know what else. It's like a measuring cup or you use your milk for your coffee or I don't know what else to really discuss about it. It's just a little cute little pourer cup. So love that. And then for my tear tray, whew, I picked this up from Bullseye's Playground. I think it might be the only thing I picked up for new decor from Target. It was a dollar. Um, it's the cute little farm fresh carrots sign. Just a little tear tray de decor. I've not actually hung out at Target near enough, to be honest. And then also from their Bullseye's Playground, I hauled one of these once before when I was doing my donation Easter baskets. And they're like cute little bath toys that you um, can go fishing with. And so they have the little rod with a hook that has a string and even a turn thing. And then the four, one, two, three, four, five little things that you catch. Um, it's called Fishing Game. Contains one fishing rod, one starfish, one sea lion, one crab, one octopus, and one whale. So it's a six count. Um, I'm going to do these in my baby niece's Easter baskets that I'm putting together for them because I thought that that was such a cute little toy that I wanted to share it with my baby nieces. And then since I was doing that, they had these two and I did pick one of these up. I don't think I showed it. I never hauled it. I don't think that I remember, but they're little bath crowns. And I did these in my one of my bas Easter baskets for donation too. It was $1 and you get the four crowns. And these, you know, they say that you can write all over your tub and it washes right off, hopefully, because I'm gifting it away. So hopefully that's true. And then also in their Easter baskets to kind of go along with that, I picked up little bath squirty toys. So the ones that I was able to find were two little alligators and my receipt's not in here. I can't remember if these were somewhere between one and three dollars. These were not in Bullseye's Playground though. They were back in like the baby section on like a circle um, little display that I happened to cr across. I wasn't looking for them, but I kind of came across them. So I got the two little alligators and they're not squirty actually. I think they're just floaty. Like I don't think they collect water in them, which is even better because that means they won't get like moldy and gross. And then they had these cute little like sun, sun, little suns. I would call them suns. The brand on these are sassy. They call these macarons squirter, but 
I don't think they squirt because there's no air that comes out of them anywhere. They call them a squirter, but I don't think they really are. So that is what I got at Target for my niece's Easter baskets. I honestly think that my nieces have more than my nephews. Sorry, nephews. It's just so much fun to shop for babies. Not that I have anything against buying this stuff for the nephews. I think it's just kind of how it's ended up. And we're too close to Easter now and I'm running out of time. So that's that. I just literally have two nothings from Dollar General. I popped in there trying to find some last minute stuff and I didn't find anything. But what I did find is some Doritos and a Coca-Cola. These are for Easter baskets for my kids. So all my kids are getting a savory snack. Um, I've picked up Takis for my oldest because he loves Takis. Um, and then you'll see in my Dollar Tree haul coming up, I got pretzels for my daughter because her savory snack of choice are pretzels. And then these are for the youngest. He likes the the Cool Ranch Doritos. They used to be the cheesy ones, but then he changed and now he doesn't like the cheesy ones. He just likes the Cool Ranch ones. And then the Coca-Cola is for the drink for um, Lorelai for my daughter because that is her favorite sweet drink or treat drink is a Coca-Cola. Both the boys are currently into Prime. And so that's, they're gonna get a Prime. And speaking of, here is from Five Below. I bought this bag. I don't remember how much she said it was. But we are, I'm in Colorado and uh, we can't, we can't get plastic bags anymore and you have to buy reusable bags or 10 cents for a paper bag. <clears throat> um, I don't know. It's not on this receipt. So I don't know how much the bag was. It might've been like a dollar. I think it was a dollar to be honest. But speaking of primes, this is one of the new flavors, Cherry Freeze. Um, I got Eric one already. It's the Ice Pop. He likes the ice pop flavor, the three one. And then I found this one at five below. Um, he likes the lemonade too, but I decided to go with cherry freeze. And those are $2.49 at five below. And then I only have a few items. It's not much. I had already, my last haul that I hauled five below stuff, I hauled these. They are little art tins. You get eight sketch pencils, one eraser, one sharpener, one 16 page mini drawing book which is three and a half by 4.9 inches. And I had only picked up two and I was like, what was I thinking? All three of my kids actually like to draw. And I don't know why I was shopping for my Easter baskets for donations. And I did not think it all the way through that all three of my kids would like these. So all three of them are going to get one in their Easter basket because they will like those. And then um, Lorelai loves Sanrio. Her favorite is Cinema Roll. This was $3.25. Oh, how much was the... This was $3.25 for the little art tin. This was also $3.25. And it's so cute. It has like the rainbow colors in there. I don't know how they do that because it's... I guess the plastic's probably colored like a rainbow. But it has glitter in it that'll go up and down like that. How cute is that? So, and she likes pens. She's always like digging in her little mini backpacks or purses for a pen. And this says that it is one glitter pen with topper. And it was $3.25. I usually find her pens at Dollar Tree, but when it's one that is like so perfect into what she's into, you gotta pick it up. And then lastly from Five Below, this was in their clearance. I wouldn't have picked it up otherwise, but it's just an LED wrist rest try to say that five times fast led wrist rest wrist rest wrist rest i guess it's not too bad um my son braxton the oldest he has his computer like all set up in his room now and he's trying to like make it look like a cute little gamer setup he probably would hate it if i called it a cute little gamer setup but he likes the led stuff so for two dollars and 78 cents because it was half off i figured why the heck not it's something he'd be into and i want to think oh darn it why can't I think of Because I can never think of names when I'm here. One of my subbies, you know who you are. I was talking about how I know I've picked too much up for Lorelai and probably for Braxton too, because Eric's been my wild card this year. Um, and I complained that I think I picked up too much and like, what am I going to do with the extras? And you suggested to do them as my beginning like of summer gifts, which I do every year. If you've been around, um, you know, I'm 
my love language is gift giving. It's what I do. And so like the kids, when they get out of school for the summer, I like to do a little gift for them, like kind of like a mini Easter basket, I guess is what it really looks like because my Easter baskets aren't super Eastery. Um, and she said, well, why don't you hold on to your extra stuff and do it as your beginning of summer gift? And I did not think of that whatsoever. And so thank you for that. So all my extra stuff, because I'll have extra stuff, is going to get set aside for um, the beginning, beginning of summer gifts. It's such a great idea. All right. And then lastly, I know I just did a Timu haul, but this did arrive. I talked about it on my Timu haul and I did post a picture of it. Um, and if you're not into Timu, but into collective, it's just my dog's big Easter presents. It's the big ones that I picked up for my puppy dogs. Wow. Wow. Okay. And sorry, I didn't open it beforehand. And I didn't know actually that I was going to haul it. But when I was grabbing my very little amount of stuff, I figured why not. So this is a dog bed. This is like why they like can pack stuff so crazily because wow. I don't know the best way to get into it because I don't want to cut like the bed. I already have a hard enough time. The dogs, what they do, the reason I have to always replace their bed, especially the ones in their crate. Sorry, Ethel is I um or they chew them up they get a little hole in them like when they get mad and it's like if I like go out shopping for the day they're spoiled I'm home the majority of the time and so like if I go out for the day they get mad at me and they take it out on their beds and they break them open and pull all the fluff out and then we come home and there's fluff everywhere you know dogs being dogs and so now they have a real crappy bed in there crate and I don't like that oh this is so much bigger than I was expecting you never know with Timu and so is it all one piece it's all one piece that's what I was hoping for and it's big and fluffy they do have a big fluffy one already it's under um it's like this but like almost double the size so they only have a teeny bit I might just open one and give them one for Easter and then save the other one because this is all that's going to fit, but it's plenty of room for the two dogs. This, the beds we had in there before are smaller, and so we had one for each of them. But now there's just one, and so that'll fit them both. Stop looking! It's your Easter present! Stop looking! They're all excited because they think they're getting something. And then in here as well, I didn't haul the other ones because I didn't get through everything in my Timu haul that I had bought for everybody. But, um... I had ordered these and I got two yellow ones and I was because it said like the one I ordered it from said um, they'll just send out whatever but I didn't want to give the boys each a yellow one and so I ordered this one it's the ice pop and it's just a squeezy thing and so Braxton's gonna get the yellow one that says lemonade I don't know if it says it on there but lemonade's one of his favorite flavors and then this is the ice pop flavor which is Eric's favorite flavor and I just thought that that'd be cute as a little Easter gift for them so yeah you know they like these types of things and I think it'd be cute like Braxton has his whole desk set up and it'd be cute sitting there even though it's not a real bottle but I mean decently cute for what it is right too bad I don't have the ice pop one right here but guys that's that's what I got like it's a smaller one um let me know if you are ready for Easter um I'll have a Dollar Tree haul coming out tomorrow I'm recording it right now let's be honest um and it's my last minute Easter item so hopefully I'm now all done I keep thinking of things that I want to get but I'm trying to think to myself stop looking at your Easter present she's he's her Easter present <coughs> um so I have a Dollar Tree haul tomorrow. It's my last minute stuff. And then as soon as I haul it, I'm going to start putting together the kids' Easter baskets before they get home from school so I can put them to the side, but really evaluate if I need to do a run out to pick anything up today. So guys, that's what I got. I hope you're having a great start of your weekend. Happy Friday. Um, I can't believe it's already Friday. This week has flown by way too fast, but it's because I have a busy weekend ahead of me. Um, and I decided I have a new career venture I'm doing. I haven't decided if I'm going to really talk about it here or not, but I'm really excited and amped about it, but I'm trying to make myself wait until after Easter because I need to get through Easter before I keep doing other things. Enough about, okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye. Try that again. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, do all the things. But I hope that your start of your weekend is going amazingly. I will see you guys next time.
Bye, guys. Bye.